what is going on guys it is Kavarte Media today it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Pensacola Florida uh, we actually got some warm weather finally I mean there for three or four weeks it's been like in the 30s and 40s and even 20s but um, it's about 65 degrees today uh, I went fishing a couple days ago got on some nice sheep said still have some that I haven't uh, that I haven't cleaned yet because I caught a bunch me and my brother so I have some left over that I, and I'm fixing to show y'all how to fillet. Not really how to fillet, but um, this is just going to be me basically giving a little bit of tips to y'all on how I fillet sheep's head. This is in no means, uh, you know, telling y'all how to flame or whatnot. This is just tips that I've learned through myself of how to, to uh, make it easier for y'all. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. All right, guys. So first things first, you obviously need your fish. So... <laughs> That's what we are going to do right there. That is a ginormous sheep's head that I caught a couple days ago. If y'all haven't seen this video, I will leave it down in the description below for y'all to go check it out. But yeah, absolutely enormous sheep's head. I think, I think this guy measured uh, 23 inches, but we're going to go ahead and toss him on the cutting board. It's really slimy. It's kind of gross, but all right. First things first, guys, this is what you really want right here. My brother just knocked down something in the background. But the first thing that you are going to want is you're going to want a serrated knife, guys. This will make it so much easier for y'all because sheep's head have a ginormous rib cage, a giant rib cage, and it's hard to get through. So this is a lifesaver, at least to me, whenever I am cleaning sheep's head, I always use this to start off. So come here, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to show them. All right. So basically, the first thing you want to do is get your serrated knife right here, and you just want to, and you just want to saw through it just like that, just so it doesn't dull your actual fillet knife. This will save you. This will save you so much time from not having to go back inside and, you know, sharpening up your knives or whatnot. So start off with with a serrated knife and power through that initial rib cage. Come a little closer, baby. Okay, so next thing, you want to get your fillet knife? Come a little closer. There you go, baby. Right here, and you just want to let it ride the backbone, guys. Just like that. Just let it ride the backbone. Be very careful of these spines right here. Don't be jerking or whatnot, because those things will get you. They have them all over, so... Yeah, guys, and then from there, you're just letting your fillet knife do most of the work. And then what I do is down here, I get my fillet knife, I find the opposite end of that backbone, I stick my knife out like that, and then I go ahead and make that cut right there, and then I stick my knife back out once again. Once I've, you know, cleared that meat from the tail, I stick it back through. And then I once again, I just let my fillet knife do the work, just like so. Now, that okay, this is whenever you are going to want your serrated knife once again. If I can get it, I kind of dropped it in between my tailgate, but see right here is a very tough problem for people because this is where once again that thick rib cage comes and it just and, and it's just a pain in the you know what. So, go ahead and grab your serrated knife. Be very careful of these. I'm telling y'all, these things will get you. So grab your saber and knife, and you just, just like that. That easy, guys. With one or two like little saws, it's cut through. Get your fillet knife. Do that. Flip them over. Look at that meat quality too, guys. Look at that. Sheep's head have some of the best meat. I'm not even lying to you. Sheep's head might be my favorite fish to eat out of any fish offshore inshore freshwater I think it's because they have a diet that uh, consists of crabs oysters uh, shrimp barnacles so their meat has a different uh, taste to it and to me it tastes a lot more rich than you know say a red snapper or you know a speckled trout redfish it just tastes a little bit different but so yeah guys now we're just gonna once again, hey baby, come here for a second. Now, this is how I fillet uh, sheep's head because they have bones going all the way, like halfway down here. So what I do, I cut along this bloodline right here, 
just like that. And this this piece of meat right here has no bones in it. They're all still in this little bloodline right here. And then I make another cut. Just like that. Because no one wants to eat this nasty bloodline anyways. That's, that's, that's the part of the fish that tastes fishy. And then I get this like that. And there you go, folks. You got two beautiful pieces of fresh caught sheep's head. And I'm not going to do the other side for y'all because um, I'm not trying to drag this video out. Actually, we're going to see what this guy's been eating. I might as well since I have him cut open. Let's go ahead and dissect this guy's stomach and see what he's been eating. All right, well, his stomach's right here. What in the world? All right, guys. I think I see some oysters in there. Yep, definitely oysters. Um, it's basically all I see, guys, is just a bunch of oysters. So, like I said, you can use oysters for bait. I've heard of people using them before. I've actually used some. Um, I've had a decent amount of luck on them. But, yeah, guys, oysters. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. Um, I hope it helped you all a little bit. Like I said, this is in no way sh telling me or telling y'all how to fillet a sheep's head. This is just me giving my insight of how I've done it my whole entire life because it makes the job 10 times easier. But if y'all did find this video a little bit helpful, guys, drop a like if you did enjoy it. And also subscribe for more fishing videos coming every single week. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out, guys. Woo!